Hello, this is my third drumming video. Uh, the other two, uh, I don't know what the hell happened to the camera. I mean, it was exceptionally bad. I mean, yeah, sure, it's a terrible camera, but uh, I've never seen it go that horrible before. This is a different style of drumming. Uh, this is jazz. Jazz is completely a different ball game than basic rock. And most people, you know, think, well, I asked my friend who also drums, he's like, yeah, I think jazz is boring. I think jazz is not energetic enough. Well, I think he's very wrong because jazz, you gotta play jazz, you gotta focus on the music and how you're feeling and, and uh, it's really more complex than other styles of music like rock, for example. But I have brushes today because I think you can actually hear it on the shit camera I have to offer you. But basically, if you're brushing, you want your left hand, whichever hand you play a snare drum with, to be doing a circle. It can cover like this. Depending on the speed, you can change the speed. Doing that, I think it's called whitewashing, I think, but doing that is really, uh, it looks harder than, it actually looks easier than it is, it's much harder than it looks. Uh, but once you get that down, you can do So, yeah, I mean, these are horrible brushes, by the way. Uh, so, this looks easy. It's really not. Uh, it takes a lot of time to get the syncopation down with doing this and hitting the drum. So, yeah. And this is completely different than rock, as you can tell. You have to do different dynamics. You have to have different uh, style. And secondly, if you didn't know, <coughs> Jazz, instead of being in 4-4, which is... It's in 3-4, so it's like swinging. So, that for drummers, there's a 3-4 swing feel to jazz. You can still count in four, though, when you're, you know, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So, to start slowly, uh, play slowly. Um, and don't worry about the bass drum at first. So this is brushing, so what your main focus on is the snare drum. So you should first, my tips are first practice the whitewashing. Try and get a consistent sound. Then you can add your right hand as the accents. So. You can start swinging it now. Head the hi hat. You'll learn how to do the hi hat. Then you can add the bass drum. But the most important thing is keeping that whitewashing hand. constant and trying not to let it vary because if you do this it's going to sound off and it's going to sound like well basically you don't know what you're doing uh, but the jazz world brushes and the snare drum are very important uh, and it, it looks easy, but it takes a lifetime to master. I have a long way to go before mastering this. But 
you know, if you want to take the jazz path, it's going to take a lot of work and creativity because jazz is a very complex style of music. And it is energetic. You know, I, I find that jazz is a different type of energy than rock. Rock, sure, you can play fast, you can play loud. You can play fast in jazz too. I mean, let me tell you something. I'm going to get sticks out. You think, tell me you don't think this is energetic. Hang on a second. Tell me this isn't energetic. I'm going to play fast jazz for a second. some people say, is harder than playing fast jazz because to keep yourself consistent is harder when you're playing slower because the tendency of jazz is to swing. And when you're playing slow, you have to keep, you have to keep the swing alive but at a slow pace. So it's actually harder than playing fast. <laughs> That's like an introduction, and I'm trying to prove the misconception to drummers who don't even want to look at jazz. It's fun. There's a lot to learn in it. It helps your rock skills substantially because the, you get a more advanced playing style to add to your basic rock style. Uh, so, yeah, that's the video for today. Hopefully the quality stayed decent. All right, um, thanks for watching. I will probably put something else on later. Uh, depends. See you guys later.